Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69 and welcome back to the third video of the day. Yes, the third video. I didn't intend to do three videos uh, because I didn't really, uh, I didn't remember that I was going to have access to the open test and what comes with the open test are new tanks, new graphics, new suspension and, and a few up, uh, a few changes, nerfs, buffs, which are really, really minor. Now, first up, the tank, the new Tech Tree line, the Tier 7, the M7 Yo. Now, this is ugly as hell. DPM 1748 on the on on this gun. Aim tire uh, reload, sorry, 10.6. Uh, Penetration 198 on your AP, uh, APCR 245. Uh, damage, it does 310 alpha and three, uh, 260 on your APCR and 400. Um, 5.6 seconds aim time, which is, wow, absolutely crazy. 5.6 seconds aim time, that is, that's harsh. That is pretty harsh. And 0 0.384 on your gun depression, and it has seven degrees of gun depression. Uh, yeah, seven degrees of gun depression, sorry. Now, the thing with this tank, it is unique because it has the engine in the turret. So if you want to destroy the engine, uh, go for the turret. Go for the back of the turret and you will uh, you will destroy the engine, which is why the engine, uh, why the turret is actually so big. And because it's so big, it just makes the tank ugly as hell. I mean, just look at it, ugly. Next up, the tier eight, the M3, yo. And this one doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but it's nothing special. Now, bear in mind, none of these have got equipment, none of these provisions or anything like that. These are all standard. Uh, so you have 1700 hit points. The armor on this should work, 200. Uh, 200 millimeters on the turret 120 on your hull so you should be able to make the turret work on on this thing um using the gun depression 2000 dpm uh, aim time magazine aim time is 22 seconds now don't forget that the tier 7 is not an auto loader this one is so 2.3 uh, 2.73 seconds on your shell reload and it has three uh, shells in the magazine 225 penetration on the ap and 253 on your heat uh, so not the best of penetrations on this tank it has 310 alpha on your ap 260 on your heat and 350 on your he 4.8 seconds aim time and 0 0.345 dispersion with eight degrees of gun depression and it goes 35 kilometers an hour so it doesn't look too great to be honest uh, the penetration i think is going to be quite poor um, and i think it's going to struggle now this tank here look how ugly this tank is where's the freaking turret that i mean it looks like an alien tank it really does but you know what hopefully it should actually be quite a nice tank 2000 hit points your turret 155 and your whole 170 so that's actually not too bad to be honest the turret 155 uh, there is no turret really so it's going to be quite difficult to pen that turret and your dpm 1862 your magazine reload again it is an auto loader and that is 23.7 seconds reload and we with 2.6 in your intra clip, three shells in your magazine, 259 on your AP pen, and 330 on your heat, which is pretty good. It's not a bad pen actually for your heat. So this one I think is actually going to be one of the better tanks in the line. Uh, we have 300 damage on your AP, 240 on your heat, 400 on your HE, 4.1 aim time, dispersion 0 0.355, and again it has eight degrees of gun depression. Uh, average speed there, 29, about 35, sort of. Uh, so not too bad for the M5 Yo. Now the big one, the M6 Yo, everyone's been testing, everyone knows about the tank, uh, everyone kind of knew it was OP, uh, but you know, it's we're gonna have a look at the stats. So 2,450 hit points, not bad. Your turret 200 millimeters and your hull is 175. So good, uh, it's got good armor. It's not uh, not the best, but it's it, it does work. Uh, trust me, it does. It does work. Uh, DPM two thousand three hundred and sixty-eight on the two-shell autoloader with a twenty. 
one second reload and 1.7 seconds in between each shell so you shoot 1.7 seconds later you shoot again and you could deal 900 damage plus with uh, one mag uh, with one sort of magazine 252 pen uh, and 320 on your on your heat so not as good as the the tier the tier 9 and 60 on your he so 1.7 seconds in between each shell is 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 crazy and it is nice to do the sort of 900 damage uh, get get the, the get the damage and then sort of run away sort of if you can it has a nice 10 degrees of gun depression to go with that armor as well now as you as I've said, it does have two guns. At first, everyone was saying like, "Why use the three gun when you have the two gun?" Now the three shell, sort of three shell, is is equally as good. Three point six seconds on your aim time. Dispersion is better at zero point three three six. Damage per minute is up by five hundred and thirty, so almost three thousand DPM, which is crazy. And only a thirteen point six seconds reload on your magazine. So you fire all three shells doing sort of 300 per shot and then you only got a three second uh, 13 second reload for your magazine so that to be honest is pretty goddamn good so either gun you can use either gun and the gun uh, and the tank is is equally as good now obviously a lot of people have been using the two shell uh, auto loader it got nerfed and and now it's still a good tank it's you can still sort of do 1000 damage in 1.7 seconds and then sort of get the hell out of there hide behind your teammates while you're on a 21 second reload or you could do sort of 900 damage and have a 13 second reload so you either do 900 damage in and take a shot in like 1.7 or you, the intra clip obviously is 2.5 seconds on the three shell, so it is a bit longer. But I mean, still 2.5 seconds. It does become more of a sort of AMX 50B ish uh, T57, uh, so it's not as unique as as the two shell auto loader. Uh, but either gun is pretty goddamn good, and it is a nice tank. Fairly good armor. The armor does work. The speed not the greatest, but it, it still is not it's not bad either overall it is a nice tank i i enjoy playing the tank and i'm sure all you guys will as well so that is the whole new line coming into blitz this update what else is coming i mean everyone knows what's coming by now uh we have the uh the graphics now the graphics uh the tank graphics the hd model uh, module uh, models are only on this new line for now uh they do look absolutely fantastic wargaming will implement these for every tank in the game but it's going to take a while for them to do that now every update wargaming have said they're going to be doing at least a minimum of three tanks per update into the hd uh, hd model so your favorite tank might not come soon uh, but it, eventually it will come now also what they've done is the the obviously the the tracks which looks absolutely fantastic uh di the track dynamic looks great and also they've done sort of where your tank gets dirty which of course i think this is this is also a fantastic add into the game it's it doesn't interfere with your play style or anything like that it's just making the game look more realistic and going by everyone's comments in wargaming's video or wargaming's leaks for this everyone is looking forward to this update and that is good to see it's good to finally see everyone looking forward to an update uh, and that is that's great that is absolutely great so well played for wargaming on that now as you can see you go through water uh, and your tank will get wet uh, eventually come out of the water eventually it will dry and that goes for the same with mud and that goes for the same with snow as well now i was actually quite surprised with the snow i thought you know driving through snow you're going to get a little bit of snow on on your tank um, but actually you get more snow than i actually uh, i thought you would get on there it almost covers your tank the more you go in the snow the more snow you get on on your tank obviously when you start driving away from the snow it does start to sort of fall off and of course if you if your tank is muddy if you go through mud and it gets muddy and you go through the water then it will clean basically clean your tank for you uh, so you can see this i mean already you can see how fantastic this tank looks with the hd mod uh, with the hd model and with the snow and with the track dynamics the tanks look absolutely beautiful and as i've said not a lot of people praise wargaming nowadays but well done wargaming this is a this is going to be a great update obviously with the update 
comes the birthday of what blitz as well for the seven years birthday uh, they will be doing some events you can win a few tanks uh, so uh, for free easy so do stay tuned for that guys as i've said well done for wargaming not a lot of people praise you when you deserve to be praised so i am praising you and hopefully we will get more like this in the future um, more upgraded tank models and maybe who knows in the future more better graphics like flipping tanks or or whatever but well done hope you guys enjoyed it hope you're looking forward to this next update i'm meezy and i'll catch you all soon bye bye